Hey guys. All right, we're gonna start off today with number 13. The goal in this problem is to find out P. We want P by itself. So the first step is to combine and simplify on both sides of the equal sign. This one is completely simplified, but this one is not. So we're gonna take this side and we're gonna simplify it. So I'm going to keep this one. And so now I'm going to do negative six plus eight times, I'm gonna distribute the eight. Eight times seven is 56 P plus eight times one is eight. Now I can combine these two numbers because they do not have the variable. So I can combine these constants. A negative six and a positive eight leave me with a positive two. So now I'm gonna bring this down, two plus seven P. All right, so now I am going to transfer these numbers back and forth. Now, remember, it doesn't matter which side I choose to bring things over to um, because I'll get the same answer. So I'm going to bring this seven over here and I'm going to get two equals two plus, that's gonna be 49P, oops, 49P. This is why we do math and pencil. All right, so now I'm going to bring this two over, which I have a feeling you can tell what's gonna happen here. If I subtract this two, I'm gonna subtract this two. I subtracted because that's a positive two. So the opposite of a positive two would be a negative two. So I'm subtracting two. I'm gonna get zero over here. This is zero as well, but I'm not gonna write it. 49P. What times 49 gives you zero? Let's divide by 49. P equals zero. So that's it for this one. The, the P equals zero. I divided by 49, and remember, I can have this fraction. A zero as a numerator is perfectly okay. It means the answer is zero. So if I, and I divided because 49P means 49 times P, and I want to do the opposite. So that is why I did that. All right, coming to this one now, number 16. This side is simplified, but this side is not. I'm going to distribute the three. That means I multiply it by that number, and I multiply it by that number. So, negative four, nothing to do there yet. Three times eight, positive 24. Three times negative three n is a negative nine n. Now I'm gonna write these things, 26 minus six n. Okay, these two can combine. I have a negative four and a positive 24 leaving me with 20 minus 9n equals 26 minus 6n. Okay, I am going to subtract 20 from both sides. Negative 9n equals 6 minus 6n. I'm gonna add 6n add 6n, a negative 9n plus 6n is a negative 3n equals 6, divide by negative 3, 
n equals negative 2.